Okay, y'all, so now we are actually in Sinister Sabretooth, and I must say so myself that I love her. She is so cute. Now, don't get carried away, guys. If you get a Hellcat, it's not necessarily gonna look like this on the inside. This is because mine is totally custom. There's nothing like it. There's only one of it, and it's my car but it's actually getting ready to be redone, so stay tuned. The outside wrap is going, even the inside. Slowly but surely, I'm redoing everything, so stay tuned. Okay, now that I have put my baby in park, let's take a full look at her. She is absolutely gorgeous. Check her out. Custom wrap by Reflections Detail. And if you think this one is crazy, wait till you see what I'm about to do to it. It's gonna be totally champified and totally champtastic. As you can see, we've got some rose gold on the bottom. This super colorful saber tooth look, if you can see at the very top of the car. You can actually see the, the eyes and the mouth of the saber tooth. I hope I'm getting it good. <laughs> Anyways, super cute. There's literally nothing like it. And then the rest of the car is like all of the tiger stripes. Borgiata wheels, don't judge me for how dirty they are. I'm getting ready to get this baby cleaned. Ooh, man, this thing is insane. Look at it. Comment below, you guys. This is one of the most fabulous Hellcats that I have ever seen. Do you guys think it's one of the most fabulous ones you've ever seen? Let me know. Ooh, even crazy in the back. Now, let's take this baby for a real ride so I can give you guys Champ's point of view. So, you guys, first thing is first, I just want to start this baby up so you can see, you know, what it's like. This is what my dash is looking like. Ooh, SRT, F, seed root, tree fruit. You better get hip. Everything's looking nice in here. Okay. And yeah, we're going to press that start button. Shout out to the nails. They're looking oh so extra fabulous too, okay? See that sparkle, okay? Man, it's the details, people. So first things first, we're gonna click SRT. Put this baby in, I like custom. 707 Street, that. That's how we gonna have this. Seat belt, it's very important, guys. Now, let's get it. Yo, my driveway is literally so tight. It's not even funny. <laughs> out there I'm surprised I haven't like scraped this car all right let's get it now now you gotta know the thing is this car is kind of low to the ground with what I have in it so I just gotta turn like curve out that way and then turn when I'm coming out of any like driveway or whatever I hate it okay people always waiting for me oh ladies there was one talk let's get it Go take this baby on a highway real quick. We're gonna really push this thing to the max. Okay. Super excited. So, the first of all, and this is the thing, this is not, people are gonna look at you when you have a Hellcat, of course. That's just like what's bound to happen. You know what I'm saying? People are always gonna look at you when you're driving a Hellcat. But this one, especially, you know, it's just so colorful. People don't see stuff like this all the time, so they're not used to it, and they just be staring. Ooh, super extra hard. I forgot to put this in 707. Sometimes I don't drive this in 707. I know, crazy, what a sin for a Hellcat owner not to be driving in 707 and to be driving in economy. But this thing, it just, the get up, the twerk, like this thing just snatches you and goes. So sometimes I have to not drive it like in 707 when I'm in like a residential area because I don't want to accidentally like, you know, bump anybody, which I haven't so far. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. You know what I mean? But still, I'm just saying for control reasons, that's why. I'm just one time in the residential. Oops, I just scared them back in their car. <laughs> that's one thing about me is I'm rude. Like if you're, if you get out of my car and you walk behind it, I'm going to, and, and I'm parked, I'm going to, do my engine, everything. Like, that's just who I am. I love to scare people. I'm a little prankster and I have fun doing it. Like, driving this car, I just love how loud it is. And did you see me kind of jerk back a little bit? Like, I'm just pulling onto a stop sign. It's just so powerful. That's the feeling that I get when I'm behind the wheel of my car. I feel powerful AF. Power Heading towards the highway, guys. We are almost there. Just bear with me, okay? 
we're heading there. Getting on a highway now, you guys. I, what's the fastest I ever went? I feel like the fastest that the champ is like 110. I'd be scared, y'all. But I'm like slowly learning to go faster. I really need somebody to teach me how to race. And I want to also have somebody teach me how to do donuts. I've never done a donut. Okay, construction. So the thing is, it's nice. I don't have drag radials, which are like wheels that really grip the ground before racing, you know what I'm saying? So you can, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna slide as much. That's the thing about my car. Right now I kind of slide a bit. I hate that. But they said if I get drag radials, it will not be good for when I am in the rain, which I'm not in the rain often, but it, California, the roads are already bad in the rain because you know what I'm saying? They never get cleaned really, really, like the highways. So there's so much oil on them that when it does rain, you're basically gliding. So I definitely don't want to get them for that. But I do need to know what kind of tire I can get so that I'm not dragging like that. Ooh. Dang, you guys. I absolutely love that. What was I going right there? Um, only, only 90. This thing gets up so quick. That's the thing. It goes from like 0 to 60 so fast. I love it in my car. It's so great because if I'm in a rush, I can weave. Like, my other car, you guys, my, my first, the car I had before this was a GMC Terrain. Nothing wrong with it, guys. I actually love that car. Like, I'm fighting. Should I let go of it or not? Because sometimes I just want to be low-key. In this car, I could never be low-key. First of all, people are going to hear me. My friends tell me all the time, like, when I pull up to their, uh, what's it called, their apartments, and I'm like, Eva, I'll be down on, like, the first floor, and they're on floor six. They'd be like, I heard you all the way downstairs or all the way up here. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? And, but that's the thing. Like, I'm a queen. I feel like there should be an announcement when I'm coming. 